you guys how's it going so today i have another cannonball video and i'm pretty excited to bring this out to you now if you guys haven't seen the first cannonball video i did i used 20k cannonballs and went from one range to see what level i can get to i will put that video in the top right if you guys are interested but let's hop into this video so with this video, I'm going to be testing the accuracy of the cannon and seeing how well it works with different setups. Now, if you guys don't exactly know how the cannon accuracy works, it takes the style you're using. So right now, for example, I have a short bow on. I'm using range. So since I'm using range, it's going to take my range accuracy. Now, this would work for any weapon. So for example, if I was using a whip or a decimitar, it would take my slash bonus as my cannon accuracy. And if I was using a dragon warhammer, it would take my crush. So this video isn't exactly set up to explain how the cannon works, but instead I'm going to test the accuracy of the cannon and see how much the attack bonus actually plays a role in the accuracy of the cannon. So to test this, I have three different setups, and I'm going to fire 2,500 cannonballs with each setup, and they all have different range bonuses. The first one is going to be the very low end of the spectrum. It's just going to be a short bow with plus 8 range. The next setup that I'm going to use is a very basic setup. As you can see, it's very cheap. None of the items here are expensive whatsoever with only a 181 range bonus. And then to finish it up, we're going to do 2,500 cannonballs with max range gear. Everything you see here is the maximum range bonus that you can possibly have which is 236. So we're going to do all three tests and see the average XP per cannonball for each of them and see how much of a difference it actually makes. So the spot I decided to test this experiment with Dagonoffs, the reason being just because I could use a lot of cannonballs in one hour. And also with that, I can get a pretty accurate estimate on how well the gear works just because it is a very popular Slayer task. So I'm going to start the first one with just a short bow and two and a half thousand cannonballs. Let's hope I don't take too much damage with this setup, but let's see the average XP per cannonball by the end of it. I also just want to clarify that all the XP that I'll be getting with the 2,500 cannonballs will of course be strictly from the cannon. I will not be using the ranged weapon, of course, so I'm always going to have nothing in my quiver. I knew this was going to be annoying, but I didn't know how annoying this was actually going to be. Of course, I have no gear on to defend myself, and the Dagonoths use two attack styles, so this is really difficult. This is going to be my third time banking. Oh, I forgot to recharge the Dwarf Cannon. Damn it, but yeah, this is my third time banking because I literally take so much damage from there. And we are coming to an end of the two and a half thousand cannonballs. So as soon as this ends, we're gonna get out of here. Three, two, one, pick up, boom, let's go right to Edgeville. So the total that we got in two and a half thousand cannonballs, first of all, we got 64k XP an hour, but that's not gonna be too accurate in general simply because I had to do a lot of time banking because of course I didn't have any armor. I got a total of 37.8k experience, so 37,800 divided by 2,500. We only managed to get an average of 15.1 experience per cannonball. That sucks, but you know what this means? We are now on to trial number two. I banked my borrow's gloves. Here we are with setup number two. Now, I love how OS Buddy actually tells you where to lay the cannon. At least I'm going to assume what this is. So that's pretty cool, but we're going to pop the cannon down. This is with our 181 range attack bonus setup. So here is two and a half thousand cannonballs loaded up. The XP is reset, so I'm starting from zero again. And let's see how much XP we get in two and a half thousand. It turns out I'm getting dogged even with this setup right here. And But the thing is, I'm not really too concerned with XP per hour. I'm more concerned with XP per cannonball. And also, if you guys are curious on how the cannon works, the range attack bonus doesn't actually affect the number that you hit on the monster. It affects the accuracy. So essentially, your attack bonus determines whether it's a zero or a hit, not what you actually hit. The number that you hit is completely RNG based. Did I really just fail that? I have 76 agility. Are you? What? So I just managed to get crashed by sauce on side. Dude is not a very cool guy. Just letting you guys know. But I'm not going to argue with him because I want the maximum amount of XP I can get. So I'm just going to hop to a free world. It'll make my life a lot easier and it will give a lot more accurate results for you guys. Oh, Snapdragon Seed. Oh, I'm getting that. I'm getting that. Snap Seed. Hey, hey, boys. Thank you for that, man. Appreciate the 46k, bro. You know he's salty. And if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you slap that subscribe button to get notified when a new video comes out. I'm not sure why it says I have 19 ammo in there, but we are completely out. That is the test. That is the second test complete. So let's get the heck out of here. Let's go to Edgeville 
And uh, guys, we did a lot better than the first test, as totally expected. We have a total of 58.3k experience. So let's take 58,300, divide that by two and a half thousand, and we get 23.3 XP per cannonball. It's crazy to think that we have over 20k experience in total with this test when compared to the first test. So I'm really excited to see what max gear is going to be like. This is the one I've been waiting for. So let's go gear up and head with two and a half thousand cannonballs to the Dagonoth Lair. The place, whatever that place is, lighthouse. Let's head to the lighthouse, guys. Max range, here we come. I am so excited to see if this is gonna have any huge improvement on the last one. You know, but the thing is, I wasn't missing too much with the last one, so I don't think I even can get too much better, but I feel like I'm not gonna miss at all. Like, look at these. Of course, when I say that I miss, and I miss again, what is. So when I first had the idea to just waste seven and a half thousand cannonballs, I said to myself, you know what, we can easily make like half that money back, maybe about 40 to 50% of it back with Snapdragon Seed. Somehow I have 413 cannonballs left plus whatever's in my cannon, and I only have three Snapdragon Seeds which come out to only 140k. So honestly, I was completely wrong. I mean, of course I could get like two right now, but... Based on my RNG, honestly, it's the Tebow. Ever since the Tebow, you know, my RNG's been shit. Just kidding, that's not how RNG works. To me, when playing RuneScape, one of the most satisfying things in the game is just seeing XP drops rapidly come in. So I love looking at the XP counter just going boom, 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 and just XP's flying everywhere. And that is the two and a half thousand cannonballs done. So let's pick up the cannon. Unfortunately, we didn't actually get another snap seed, so... We pretty much lost a huge chunk of change doing this, but that is all right. It's all for the experimental purposes. But uh, guys, all I really have to say is that it is not a huge difference whatsoever. So with max range gear, we only managed to get 59.9k experience with two and a half thousand cannonballs. So let's say 59,900 divided by 2,000. Did I just DC? I just DC'd. What is going on? Okay, we're back. So 59.9 divided by two and a half thousand. That is only 23.96 XP per cannonball. So the first thing that I'm seeing here is that your bonus, your attack bonus for whatever style you're using does play an extreme difference in the DPS that you're going to get with the cannon. Now, with at least with a mid-tier monster killing Dagonoths, having a 181 range bonus and a 236 range bonus does not play a significant difference at all. I'm only 1.6k more XP in that 2.5k cannonball. So it really, it, it's almost non-existent for basically maxing out gear. So with a mid-tier monster, it really does not matter that much. Now, the reason I picked Dagonauts is because they're level 74 and 92. They're a nice range. They're probably about the average level somebody would be cannoning. Now, I'm sure that the range bonus would play an extreme difference if you're killing something much higher, like Dark Beasts or something like that. But for this test, like the average slay monster, having that really, really big range bonus does not make too much of a difference versus a mid-tier gear setup. Now, if you guys want that side-by-side -side comparison to really visualize it, I'm going to put on screen right now the rates, the XP per cannonball that you would expect at Dagonoths with these range bonus now of course these are the xp you're gonna get assuming you're just using a cannon no one would really ever do that at dagonauts so of course if you're ranging you're gonna get better rates as well this is just with the cannon there's also one thing that i think is very important to mention that i know a lot of you might be questioning your range level does not play any effect on what your cannon hits the only thing that the range level can do to increase your accuracy is of course to wear better gear but technically you could have one range with say a god sword and you know max attack bonus with slash and you could still get very very good xp rates even at one range and that is the video today, guys. If you did enjoy this style of content, I know I've never really done anything like this before. So if you guys do enjoy it, do let me know. Let me know what kind of changes you guys want to see or any new style of content you guys want to see. You guys have been giving me some really awesome suggestions. So I've been reading the comment. I read all the comments, every single comment I get. So feel free to drop a comment, like, and of course, subscribe to see future content when it comes out. But guys, I also finally got monetized, so that means hopefully I can make more videos for you guys, because now I will be getting paid slightly from YouTube, which, you know, it's a great motivation, and hopefully I can smash more content for you guys. But with that said, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take it easy.